So I have the OnePlus 7 Pro right here. And today I want to show you how to lock the display refresh rate at 90 hertz in every app and in all situations. So yesterday's tutorial, I walked you through how to set the display refresh rate to 60 hertz because by default it is set to 90 but I wanted to show you how to set it to 60 so that you can save a little bit of battery life and not come across any hitches or lag or jank or whatever you want to call it whenever you're scrolling through various feeds like Facebook and Twitter and then come across a video because even though so we go into the screen refresh rate. Even though we are set to 90 hertz, in some situations and in some applications, we are limited to 60 hertz. And that includes whenever a video audio auto plays and comes on the screen in applications, like I said, like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, any of those apps. And it does that to save battery life. So even though you are set to 90 hertz, I want to show you, for example, the popular UFO testing app. Even though we are set to 90 hertz, in this situation, we are uh, the refresh rate is locked at 60. However, we can do this same test in Chrome. And because OnePlus has set a special rule specifically for Chrome, since it's the default browser, that's why we allow, that's why it is allowed the 90 hertz refresh rate for this specific test. When you're using Chrome, you will notice in some situations that that 90 hertz will go down to 60 hertz, and there's just nothing you can do about it unless you do this trick that I'm about, I'm about to show you. So as you can see, even though we have it set to 90 hertz, in some situations it's going to be 60 hertz. But there's a way to lock the screen at 90 hertz at all times, all apps, all situations. To do that, we don't need root, but we will need to have USB debugging install uh, enabled. You're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer and you're going to need to go ahead and type up the command adb space devices connect your smartphone to the pc with a usb cable and accept the usb debugging mode access prompt for those of you who are not familiar with this i'm going to have the full step-by-step -step instructions on how to enable developer mode how to enable usb debugging mode and grant access to it how to install ADB and Fastboot tools that will all be covered in the full tutorial on my website. So for anybody who's watching this on YouTube, look in the video description and you'll see that link right there. So once we have USB debugging mode enabled and we have our USB cable plugged in, we're going to open up a command prompt or a Windows PowerShell or terminal in the same folder that we have our ADB and Fastboot tools located in. It has to be in the same folder. So, so like I said, we're going to need to open up a Windows PowerShell, which we have right here. And then we are going to, you can just go ahead and, like I said, I go ahead and type ADB devices just to make sure my, my device is listed and make sure ADB detects it. And then we're going to type out the command ADB space shell and press enter. Now, as long as you have granted USB debugging mode access for this device on this computer in the past, you should get this new prompt here with the name OnePlus 7 Pro. And from here, we're going to type out this command. And I'm going to have this listed on the my website if you just want to copy and paste it. But if you want to type that out, it's settings, space, put, space, global, space, one plus, underscore, screen, 
underscore refresh underscore rate space and then zero so the settings page that I showed you that lets you pick between 90 and 60 Hertz that changes this specific mode this option one plus screen refresh rate to either a one or a two if you are setting this thing to 90 Hertz in the software on the phone this option will either be set to one or it will be set to two depending on if you choose the 90 or 60 Hertz option now on Oxygen OS whenever you tap that 90 Hertz option it's actually what OnePlus calls an auto 90 Hertz and that's why the uh, 90 Hertz will dynamically change down to 60 so when we change this to zero it actually sets it to a hidden menu option which is not visible in Oxygen OS but it is available in Android thanks to OnePlus putting it in their firmware and because of this this specific command may not work all the time OnePlus could easily roll out an over-the-air update and change this variable to something else they could disable the ability to set this to zero so this is not guaranteed to always work but for right now as of right now it will work and let me show you the difference from before and now that we have entered this command so if you remember before whenever we did the UFO test in Chrome it allowed us to cap out at 90 frames per second because Oxygen OS is just coded that way however with the auto 90 Hertz that is set within the settings of Oxygen OS by default when we opened up Samsung's internet browser and tried the UFO test it was locked at 60 Hertz but now that we have done that ADB shell command whenever we open up the UFO test from Samsung's internet browser we are now capped at 90 Hertz instead of the 60 like we were before And this is the same for every other instance where OnePlus would have dynamically changed that setting from 90 hertz to 60 hertz. It will keep it at 90. OnePlus recommends that you do not do this because of the extra battery use that keeping the phone at 90 hertz at all times will do to the battery. So use this not at your own risk because it's not going to damage the device but know that if you force it to 90 hertz all the time then you could see a drastic drop in battery life I know an Antec recently pushed put out their uh, review of the OnePlus 7 Pro and their Wi-Fi battery test showed this device getting 11 hours of screen on time just Wi-Fi battery Wi-Fi usage with 60 Hertz and they got 10 hours at 90 Hertz so there was an hour difference in that specific battery test going from 60 to 90 and that 90 was the dynamic 90 so when we force it to 90 all the time we're probably going to see a little more of a hit on our battery life so it will depend on how you use your phone. If you're a light user, that might be perfectly acceptable for you. If you're a heavy user, you may notice that batter, that hit to battery more, and you may choose to just not do that at all. It's completely up to you. At any time, even after we have done this command in ADB, we can just go into our settings application, go into display, go back to the screen refresh rate option, and choose one of the options either here either 60 or 90 and it will be as if we never entered that ADB command at all
So that is how to lock the OnePlus 7 Pro screen refresh rate to 90 hertz in all applications and in all instances.